At a time when the world is crying out for solidarity to fight the global COVID-19 pandemic, the United States is sending warships to Venezuela. While Venezuela is mustering its resources to protect its people, the United States is threatening it with military aggression. Trump's goal has always been regime change, which definitely appeals to his right-wing base in this election year, but he's also trying to project strength during the coronavirus crisis, which he's completely failed at responding to, and at a time when so many people are demanding socialist policies like uh, canceling rent and free healthcare, he's trying to look tough on socialism. And the worst thing is, he's willing to sacrifice thousands of lives to do this. And we know Donald Trump isn't going to send his kids to fight and die, it's going to be porn working class people, like it always is. In a time where the world should be practicing more cooperation in order to bring the COVID-19 pandemic in control, uh, we're not seeing those who claim to be a critical or an opposition of the Trump administration uh, talking about this. So we demand an, as a way to really end the sanctions for all of the people, the Democratic Party, the liberals and uh, liberal think tanks and organizations to make it a priority, to make it more of a priority to end the regime change policies and sanctions against Venezuela. So you might be wondering what you can do. Well, you can use your social media to address and educate your friends and followers. You can make a personal video for Congress people explaining why in the middle of COVID-19 crisis, or ever, they must not let Trump start a war with Venezuela. You can take a picture of yourself with a sign reading Fight COVID, not Venezuela, and post it on your social media and tweet it. And stay with us, resisting. We will never abandon Venezuela. We will always stand shoulder to shoulder with them as they protect the integrity of their project. Not for any one individual, but for the integrity of a people fighting for their own independence. So today we redouble our efforts and recommit ourselves and embrace our responsibilities as citizens of empire to say no, not in our name. This is a time to unite and help each other. Let's fight COVID, not Venezuela. Fight COVID, not Venezuela. Fight COVID-19, not Venezuela. Fight COVID, not Venezuela. Fight COVID, not Venezuela. Fight COVID, not Venezuela.